Welcome to Tech Mining. Charts are like visual translators for data, turning numbers into easy to grasp pictures. They simplify complex information, reveal hidden patterns, and make comparisons clear. By enhancing communication and saving time, charts become powerful tools for unlocking insights, driving decisions, and making any application simply more impactful. In this tutorial series, we will be looking at different types of charts in Oracle Apex, starting with the Area Chart Stacked. This Area Chart Stacked, is displaying the increase and decrease in each fruit price, vertically. The chart is displaying fruits prices on various days in a week, at different grocery stores in multiple colors. At the bottom of the chart, fruit names are displayed horizontally, sorted in descending order, as x-axis. Calculating each fruit amount vertically, shows the total price of that fruit, on the left side of the chart, as y-axis. The video also demonstrates various attributes of an area chart. Hide and show behavior, allows a user to hide and unhide a series by clicking the chart legend markers. The chart axis will rescale as the minimum and maximum values of the visible data increase or decrease. Finally, through the use of dynamic actions, the chart orientation changes. Along with the changes in the rendering style of the chart items. When multiple series are shown, stacking is recommended to prevent values from being obscured. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. There are two tables used in the video. The first table, is the EBA demo chart orders. These are the columns of the table followed by their respective types. The second table, is the EBA demo chart products. These are the columns of the second table, followed by respective types. To create these tables, use the code provided in the video description. To keep things simple for developers, the sample data of these tables is also provided in the video description. Next, create a new page. Select the chart option. Followed by the area option. The provided SQL query, selects the following columns. A product name, retrieves the product name from the EBA demo chart products table, aliased as A. B quantity, retrieves the ordered quantity from the EBA demo chart orders table, aliased as B. B customer, retrieves the customer name from the EBA demo chart orders table. A product description, retrieves the product description from the EBA demo chart products table. Then it combines the data from the two tables, EBA Demo Chart Products, which holds the product information. And the EBA Demo Chart Orders, which holds the order details. The WHERE clause, A Product ID equals B Product ID, links orders to their corresponding products using a common product ID. The B Customer equals Delhi, narrows the results to orders placed by the customer named Delhi. Next, for the label column property, select the column name to be used for defining the label of the x-axis on the chart. Selecting the quantity column for the value column property, will display the values inside the chart. After creating the chart page, click the chart region, to customize various properties. A Maximize button, 
resembling a square with diagonal arrows, appears in the region's title bar. Users can click this button to expand the region, to occupy the full width and height of the available space within its parent container. The static ID is used as the ID for the region using the substitution string, region static ID, useful when developing custom JavaScript behavior for the region. If this is not defined, the region generates an internal ID. In the current scenario, it is used in the execute JavaScript code for the dynamic actions. Enter the maximum width and height of the chart in pixels. The maximum width and height defines a fixed width and height for the chart region, respectively. Alternatively, to enable the automatic resizing of the chart width and height, leave these fields empty. The width is then automatically set to 100% of the region, and the height is then based upon the height of the browser. Enabling the stack switch organizes the chart to display in a straight line. The data cursor is typically activated when a user moves their mouse over the chart elements. Data cursor is a useful alternative to tooltips when the data items are difficult to navigate to, especially on touch devices. The smooth behavior of the data cursor follows the mouse or touch screen movement smoothly displaying the tooltip whenever the data cursor is hovered over any part of a chart data. Sort order, label descending, sets to order the chart based on the x-axis labels in descending order. Enabling the show switch, renders a legend on the chart. Top position, renders the legend on top of the chart. Rename the default series, and change it to Delhi, to match the customer name Delhi, provided in the SQL query. Create the following series. A series represents a distinct set of data points that are visualized together on the chart. It's a fundamental building block for creating meaningful and informative visualization. Replace Delhi. Make sure that the series name, must also match the name in the SQL query. The Acme Store SQL query contains an additional composite column. This composite column is combining the product name, product description, list price, and product ID from the EBA demo chart products table into a single string named short description, including line breaks. This is an overview of runtime interface of the Acme Store short description, including the values of X and Y. Custom Tooltip is a feature that allows developers to create tailored tooltips that display specific information when a user hovers over or interacts with a data point on the chart. Major ticks refer to the larger and more prominent markings in the X and Y axes of the chart. They play a crucial role in visually communicating the scale and divisions of the data being presented. Let's add the following buttons for the chart orientation and stacking.
These properties enhances the appearance of the button, with a more attractive looks. The behavior of these buttons will be defined by dynamic actions and subsequent steps. Selecting the last button option, will place the vertical orientation button after the horizontal orientation button. This is used for the button sequence. These selected icons will be rendered inside the button. Selecting the first button option, the stack button will be first button in its category. Now let's add some necessary functionalities to operate these buttons. Create the following dynamic actions. On clicking the stack button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. The provided JavaScript code is configuring an Oracle Jet chart, associated with an Apex region named, Area 1, that we used in the static ID attribute. It is an easiest way to enhance data visualization and make comparison, between the series more clearly. Select the chart region on the page to be affected by this action. In the second code, set stack to off. This code is just contrary to previous one, and turns off the stacking behavior for the chart. On clicking the horizontal button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. Replace stack off, with orientation horizontal. This sets the chart's orientation to horizontal. This last dynamic action says that when a user click on vertical button, execute the following JavaScript code. This code sets the chart's orientation to vertical. 
That's it. Save your progress. Run the application. Label descending, arranged the chart, based on the labels on the x-axis, starting with the highest value and moving downwards. This is particularly useful for visualizing data that has a natural top-down hierarchy. The chart legends are a powerful tool to customize user view. Clicking on any legend marker, toggles the visibility of its corresponding data series. This lets user focus on the most relevant information and uncover hidden patterns. Through the use of dynamic actions, explore different perspectives with a click. Easily switch between horizontal and vertical views of the data using the dedicated buttons on the top left. This allows user to uncover insights that might be more apparent in one orientation over another. Choose the optimal data arrangement for readability. Toggle between stacked and unstacked data items using the buttons on the top right. Stacking is especially helpful when working with multiple series, as it prevents values from overlapping and ensures clear visibility for each series. At last, clicking this button, expands the region to occupy its full width and height. That's all for now. Hold on to your curiosity, there is many more exciting content coming soon in the chart video series. Thanks for watching the video.